Hello guys, my name is Piro Skatz and today we're going to talk about the Nugget package called Entity Framework Exceptions. Now, first of all, let's go to our project. I have a customer's API that I have used in a previous project of mine. And uh, in the AppDB context, I have surrounded the save changes async inside the try catch block and I catch for a DB update exception. That's the kind of exception that uh, the save changes async uh, will throw. And uh, then I handle the exception in a private handle exception. And in our example, I want to check for two specific exceptions. Uh, one is if uh, we try to add uh, a record with an ID that already exists for another record, or we have uh, exceeding the max length of a row in a table. Now our model is a customer model, so if I go to entities we have a customer model with a first name, a last name, and because it inherits from uh, the domain entity class, it also has a GUID as an ID. And now if we go to our configuration, uh, I have uh, set the max length of the first name and the last name to be 50. Now when uh, we catch uh, the DB update exception, we also throw a new customer DB exception that I have created in here. And uh, we have a custom exception middleware that uh, checks for the exception and if the exception is of type custom DB exception that I just showed you, uh, it returns uh, the message else uh, it says an error occurred with an internal server error status code. I have done that so that we can visualize the message that we return in Postman. So just ignore the logic uh, of all that and just focus in the exception. Now maybe you do want to handle an exception when you try to save an entity and uh, log it uh, based on the exception it was or you want to cut specific exception. The problem, if you can call it the problem, is that you need to, to get from uh, the DB update exception the inner exception and then uh, check its number. So the code is a little bit hard to read and you need to have a document opened so you can see what number matches to what exception. And uh, that's uh, the nugget package that I talked about comes into play. Let's go to Nugget and let's search for entity framework dot exception. So entity framework dot exception entity framework core dot exceptions. And as you can see, there is for SQL Server, MySQL, SQLite, you have a lot of options based on what uh, is your SQL provider. So I will add for the SQL Server because that's what I use. I'm going to install it. And now in the program.cs uh, where I pass the options for the DB context, I'll just one line of code options dot use exception processor. And as you can see, it's coming from the entity framework dot exceptions dot SQL server. And now I'll go back to my app DB context. And uh, now I don't need to get the inner exception and then uh, switch based uh, on just a number. Instead, I will take my message by switching on the exception itself. So var message equals with exception switch. And let's remove that. Okay, and now the first exception we want uh, to handle is the unique constraint violation. So I am going to say unique constraint exception and the message will be the same. So let me copy that so I don't bother you. Okay. And uh, the second one instead uh, again of just a number that we had previously is a max length exceed exception. And again, let's have the same message. So max length exceeded. Okay, and if I go and debug that and I'll open Postman, I have already created the request and I have already created the customer with the same ID. Again, ignore the logic. So if I send that, I'll get back a unique constraint violation. 
and uh, let's change the GUI so it's a unique and let's copy my first name a lot of time so that we will exceed the 50 characters and if I send that we get max length exceeded so if you act on uh, your entity framework exceptions uh, getting the inner exception and, and checking just the number I suggest that uh, you give this package a try and if you like it uh, you can also go and give it a star on github I'll post uh, the github page in the description below that was a short video if you liked it please like and subscribe thank you for watching and have a nice one